Uh, there you go. That's another 10 years of not being able to watch the Olympics if you don't pay your license fee. Well played, BBC. Well played. Hi, it's me again. And the last Olympics was a bit of a shambles for coverage on the BBC. There was a lot of complaints about the coverage on the BBC, which is weird that I saw this headline. Well, I'm not surprised that I saw this headline, but you'd think there'd be more competition, wouldn't you? The Olympic Games to remain on the BBC for the next decade. A significant rights deal secures the future of the Olympic Games on the BBC up to and including 2032. So the bit of that that stuck out to me was a significant rights deal secures the future of the Olympic Games. Significant, meaning financially significant, obviously. And nowhere can I find out what the BBC paid for the rights to the Olympic Games. And I could file a Freedom of Information request for that. They won't answer. They never do. Anything I ask to do with financials, they don't, they don't answer. Do you know? Do you know how much the BBC have paid to secure the rights to the Olympic Games for the next decade? Because there's got to be a lot of money, right? And I'm surprised. I'm surprised there. I mean, they're never going to. It's got to go on the terrestrial channel, isn't it? So I don't think Sky Sports are allowed to have, you know, exclusive rights to something like the Olympics, are they? But I'd like to see an ITV have a shot at it, because then I can watch it without a license fee. I can catch it on ITVX, all my favourite stuff, because I quite like the Olympics. But without a license fee, you can't watch it. Just go to the pub. It's not a bad thing, but it gets pricey after a while. In a new joint partnership with the European Broadcasting Union and Warner Brothers to Discovery, the BBC will bring comprehensive coverage of the Olympic Games and all major moments on TV, radio, online and digital to audiences across the UK. Discovery presented a common project to acquire all media rights across 49 territories in Europe. God, Discovery, God, you don't mess with Discovery. And that's all right with me. I don't mind if Discovery also have the rights to the Olympic Games and can show it live and on demand. I can't watch it live, but I have Discovery Plus. I enjoy Discovery Plus. So if you're able to watch the sport on there, like the Olympics especially, on demand. I don't know if you can get the sports on demand on there. I know it shows live sports, but I don't have that. I can't watch that. I only pay the cheap one. But if I knew I could watch the Olympic stuff on demand, yeah, I'd, up, I'd upgrade that. I mean, it's quite a good service, I think, Discovery Plus. And how much must that have cost them? And the BBC have jumped in on this to get a cheaper deal, I guess. Barbara Slater, director of BBC Sports, said, this partnership ensures that audiences in the UK will continue to have free-to-air access to the Olympic Games for the next decade. The BBC's ability to bring the nation together is second <coughs> to none, and the new deal provides sport fans a comprehensive, compelling, live and on-demand offer. But they did get slated for a lot of their coverage on the last Olympic Games. I can't remember why. I'll have to dig about and find out. But I remember talking about it, and there was, there was problems with the coverage, and they were getting a bit slated for it. But yeah... Oh well, if you're not a licensed fee payer, no more Olympics for you unless you've got Discovery Plus possibly until 2032. So I would love to know how much the BBC threw into this, but because they've gone in teamed up with other people, then they can not disclose that information saying it's third party private information, stuff like that. So you won't find out. You won't find out the number from an FOI request, but you can try it if you want. I'm not going to waste my time. Let me know what you think about all this down in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Because that way, hopefully I'll see you in another video again soon. Ta-da!